Hello all, DJs Aviation here, welcome back to another video of mine. Today we discuss new developments with a new aircraft that I haven't covered before on the channel. This video won't be as detailed as I'll be doing another video that will follow up this one shortly covering the same aircraft. Today I just plan to discuss the new information we have. If you hadn't had the chance to check the title, I'll be talking about the A321LR, and LR is an abbreviation for long range. The A321LR is one of the more exciting aircrafts that will be flying throughout the world for decades to come, simply because it's not your ordinary A321. This particular A321 has added range. The aircraft completed its maiden flight on the 31st of January, and since then has been creating quite the buzz. Now the pickle I'm in right now is an odd one, so I'll lay it off to you how it is. I'm recording this video a day before you'll see it. At the time of recording right now, the event I'm going to be talking about in the video has not happened, but by the time you'll see this video uploaded, the event will have happened and the information that I have may have been out of date. So I'm going to try my best to word everything uh, perfectly, but I just ask you please bear with me on this. For some time now, fanatics have been waiting to hear when the first big flight for this A321LR will be, and today the flight occurred, hopefully. The route was from Paris to New York, JFK, and was the first transatlantic test flight for this new aircraft. The aircraft has created a huge buzz purely as it's pitched as the replacement for the Boeing 757-200, an aircraft that, as it's aged, has gained some poor feedback, uh, which I became aware of through the comments, but overall served a fantastic purpose. Airbus have said that the A321LR carried only two of the three additional center tanks which were installed. So to clarify, the A321LR can carry three center tanks. Airbus said though as part of the testing of the aircraft, it is important that they can take the time to test the aircraft with different numbers of tanks to make sure it's fit to fly in all different scenarios. The flight is part of the aircraft certification program. It's also worth mentioning that the aircraft is a single aisle plane and therefore it may cause some um, negative vibes and views from passengers travelling on it. Either way, the test flight is another exciting development to the aviation industry and the A321 family. As I like to do, here's a question I pose. Would you be willing to fly 6 plus hours on board this A321LR, which I should mention again is a single aisle aircraft? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching another one of my videos. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.